everybody. Welcome to the 2017 CES show and this is what you're looking at right now. You're looking at the Sony booth. Why don't we go ahead and just walk you guys around the booth and have you guys check out what we have in store for it. So right here, the very first thing that we're going to look at is the newest brand new Sony OLED television. So come to you. All right. So right here, we actually have the two, brand new 2017 announcement. It's the 4K OLED television. It is hot, it is hot, it's awesome, and it kicks butt. So come on over here. And what you're looking at right now is we have the brand new X930E television. Okay, it's brand new, it's beautiful, it's gorgeous. And come and check out the back and the design on the back. Look at that sexy design. How thin, how beautiful this baby is. So come on over here. I'm gonna go ahead and introduce you guys. This is that. Hi, John. Hi. Uh, you probably this guy probably uh, looks familiar to you. So I'm gonna have him take it away in this area. So welcome guys, over here we're talking about the X1 Extreme processor and the three main pieces that we do that nobody else does. First off, we have the dual database processing. So that basically means that we have a dedicated processor to take out the noise and a dedicated processor to make that uh, sharpness and that clarity as good as it can be. Number two is super bitmap and we've all seen those bad lines. We don't have the bad lines, we've got this processor, right? Last but not least is object-based HDR remastering, means that everything you watch on our HDR TV is gonna look as close to HDR as possible. Thanks guys, you guys have a great day. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. So, now we're gonna show you guys the, the brand new Sony exclusive technology. It is called the Sony CLED, Crystal LED. Play this. Hi, I'm Andrew, the RSS for New York. So I want to introduce you guys to Cletus. Cletus is our brand new crystal LED professional high, high impact display. The really nice thing about this is it's modular. It's made up of a bunch of tiles as you can see over here. So these modules here, they're approximately 16 by 18 inches. And each of these are RGB displays. They're actually crystal LED. The, and uh, the main benefit of, of that is when you look at the display, it is completely seamless. This particular display that we have here, we're running 32 feet by 9 feet at a resolution of 8K by 2K. Uh, you know, since we're at CES, it's all about numbers. Uh, we're running 1,000 nits here. Um, HDR, all that stuff, this is able to do it. And uh, as far as why, why are we doing this? You can put this in the shopping mall. We're in Vegas, dude. Uh, we can put it in any casino. We can put it in the Javits Center, someone else's booth. Um, industrial design simulations. We, have, we had a huge NSX here before, and uh, yeah. All right, so next, we're gonna introduce you to the Mr. Jeremy Miller. He's gonna go ahead and show you exactly what this is right here. Hi. Good morning, welcome to CES in Las Vegas. My name is Jeremy Miller, RSS out of Dallas, Texas. If you step in the room with me, we go through our new short throw laser projector. So this will be the VPL VZ 1000 ES. Some nice improvements over our previous model. We made it really uh, smarter, lighter, brighter, smaller, and more price attractive. So what you have here is the addition of HDR, hybrid log gamma, increase your lumens by 25%. So now we're up to 2,500 lumens on it. Significantly lighter, about 40% lighter and 40% smaller. So you can see here in this application that we've got the projector in, the projector can really fit into any room. So no matter how big, how small, you've got a projector for any environment. Thanks for coming by. Enjoy your CES Las Vegas. All right, so the next thing, if you guys come on home, I'm gonna show you something really cool. I didn't haven't seen this until a couple days ago. It's actually pretty darn cool. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna introduce you to Matt Dogherty. He's actually another RSS out of the US. What's going on? Uh, so the actual piece is probably with our engineer in his hotel. 
but what would typically be here is a little robot looking device called Xperia Agent. It's running Sony Agent technology, so what that's gonna do is integrate your home, so any kind of smart devices that are discoverable by your network, and what you give the Xperia uh, Agent access to control, it can link them together, control them, and then you can actually interact with those devices in a more human way. So you have a more human way to talk to tech, creating that smart home, but actually just you feel like you're actually interacting with those products. So as a good example, if you got like, say for example, a network speaker, I've got my computer on the network with Spotify connected, I can tell the Xperia agent, hey, let me play this band and this song, or even just play my favorite music, I can give it enough reference points that it can figure out what I'd like it to do. It'll play that speaker, it'll turn it up for me, it'll dance to the music as well, so it makes it more of a fun interaction. Perfect, thanks. No problem. All right, so next. This is actually one of my favorite products on the show floor. It's called the Xperia Projector. So I have Mr. Richard Oates over here. He's actually one of our newest team members. And uh, TSN. Whoa. Yeah, there you are. I'm going to turn the time over to you. All right, man. very good. Good morning. All right, so what we have here is the Xperia Projector. Just imagine taking an Android device and having a projection on any surface, whether it be a countertop, a floor, and the kids entertain. Perhaps even the wall. Yes, you can do it on the wall. So the idea is, how about I control my music device? If you like, we'll run you through a quick demo. Hey, I got my music app going. Very good. And tell you what, you can also play from the speakers built into the projector or through a Bluetooth compatible sound system. We'll switch it and we'll run straight to the projector and we can do it that way too. But wait, there's more. How about if I'd like to, I've got the music right. Let's dim the lights while we're at it. Perhaps we can dim it and even change the color to suit the mood. But then again, we also got to make sure when the music's right, the lighting's right, the doors are locked. So in partnership with our Curio door lock systems, we can now lock the doors. There you go. And even unlock as well. And then just to sum it up, one last feature. You've got your music on, you've got your lights on. How about, let's make sure everything's off. I'm going to bed for the night. Click good night, it'll make sure the music turns off, the lights go off, and the door's locked at the same time. Hey, so come on over here, follow me. Do you have a great second, Tom? Yes, I do. Okay. So Tom is actually the owner of this area right here. I am. I am. So I want to show the audience what in the heck is that? Yeah, so please, let me introduce you to Cario. So Curio is a very easy to install lock for your door. It basically can make your, your existing door a smart door. And here's how we do that. So at home, you've got your conventional door. You've got your same knob that you probably had forever. Well, you can leave everything exactly the way that it is. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go home, you're gonna take a look and take a look at the shape here. And then you're gonna say, okay, I'm gonna open my Curio kit. My Curio kit is gonna have different fittings. Okay, I'm, all right, that looks like it might fit. So this control's there, all right, that's perfect. And what I do is I snap it into place, and then this comes with uh, mounting tape, and I take the mounting tape, and I simply apply it to the top of my lock. Okay, so really no tools are necessary. I mean, I could set this up in less than five minutes. Now, via Bluetooth, I have the ability to control this lock with my phone, which is amazing. And then in addition, the lock will actually talk to, via Bluetooth, this up here. All right, so then this hub is connected to my Wi-Fi. So what have we just done? We've given you the ability to control it remotely. So let's say you've got somebody coming over to take care of your dog. You actually have the ability to open the door via Wi-Fi using the included app. Thank you. Absolutely. Somebody's there. I wonder who that could be. Yeah. All right, so now <laughs> we're gonna show you Tiffany Howard. Do you have a second? Yes, I do. Will you tell everybody what, what, what is it that you're demoing right over here in this area? So we're demoing a lot of products as part of our seed acceleration program where Sony employees um, go and audition in Tokyo with their ideas and it goes through certain stages and if it makes it through those stages it comes here to see a show to be presented. So the biggest um, highlight of this space is the mesh. It's pretty much taking any project, creative project, and bring it to life with seven electronic tags. Each one of these tags has a certain different function. One idea that we came up with was, let's say make an air guitar just for the heck of it. We want to be rock stars and rock out here at CES. So what does a guitar do? It moves. So there's many different ways you can make an air guitar with these tags. The easiest one that we did was to use the move tag here. So 
What does an air guitar do? It makes sound. So what we've done, we've used our beautiful white SRX11 right here. And so we come in here to our app. We go to add tag. We push the button on the tag to power on. It pops up over here. We drag over to what we see new recipe. And then we're going to link to our sound. So when we move it to activate it, it's going to sound off our sound speaker, Bluetooth speaker. And we activate. And rock out. <laughs> that de definitely Mesh. added. Yeah. All right. So next, I'm going to introduce you guys to Matt Hinckley. And I noticed that there is something on his wrist right here. Is that one of those smart watches? Yeah. Well, this isn't a smart watch. This is Fess, uh, the Fest watch. This is uh, an e-paper watch. And uh, it gives you 24 different combinations that you can choose from, watch faces, and it uses our e-paper technology. So it'll change the band as well. Different patterns. And these are available at the Museum of Modern Art right now as well. Um, also, speaking of watches, we have the Wena wrist watch. This is a smart watch for people who really like an analog style watch. So this is a partner with Citizen. And we actually have the smart uh, capabilities are actually in just this little part of the watch itself. So that's your uh, fitness tracker, uh, ePay, uh, that type of thing as well. Uh, all in a really nice package so you don't have to sacrifice that style. So if you're a watch lover, you can actually still get your smart functions and the watch at the same time. Comes with this nifty little app over here. You can actually switch your notifications. So on the back of this here, uh, it'll light up and you can see that you have a Facebook notification or an email, Gmail, uh, messaging, that kind of thing there. And that's uh, pretty much it for our smartwatches. All right, so what we have next, it's called Coop. What is Coop? I have no idea, but I'm gonna let these guys tell you. So Benjamin, Kyle, tell the audience, wh what is Coop? Oh, okay. So Coop is a part of Sony Global Education, which is a new company within Sony uh, Global. Um, do me a favor, if you could, Kyle, put your finger in this. Huh? He's actually hitting the IR sensor. As you can see, it goes green. Oh, see, it likes him. Good, good boy. What if I told you this was actually created by an eight-year-old, right? So the cool thing about Sony uh, Coop is that it actually uh, encourages kids to learn how to code, create, design, um, and build. I mean, the neat thing is that there are figure and the kids are already spending a bunch of time playing Minecraft and stuff like that. So this is kind of a neat way to take that to the next level. And now you're actually adding uh, things like the Coop Core here and teaching them basic robotics and really kind of encouraging the innovators of the future. So now you're not just building a little, you know, guitar here, but I'm programming switches. Like all of a sudden, I put my finger on the back, it starts making a sound. There's a proximity sensor, it'll change the melody, which I can actually customize by sliding the guitar up and down. The fact of the matter is, guys, we have the experience when it comes to innovation, right? So it only makes sense that Sony was gonna make something for kids to innovate also. <laughs> All right, so now we're actually jumping into a different category. This is actually one of the most popular headphones that we have out in the market right now. So I'm gonna have you follow me. I'm gonna bring you guys over here to Danielle. Danielle, tell them what this area that you're presenting right here is. All right, so this is our airplane. We have the MDR-1000X in here, which is a pretty good uh, noise canceling headphone. It has a 20 hour battery life and it has a quick attention mode, so you can actually touch the side of it um, and you can hear other people talking to you better than you can hear me now. Uh, you can also swipe up and down to change the volume, swipe left and right to change the track. So. All right, so we also have some XP3s up here. They uh, normally play some cabin noise, so it sounds like you're in an airplane. So you have people just sit down here and put the headphones on and try them out. All right, so now I have and two other good friends over here. I got Steve and I also got Tim. So why don't you just show the audience what is that thing in your hand? So what we have here is a wearable technology, okay? Since this is a future lab program, this is a concept prototype of where we'd like to see wearable technology go. With Project N, or Nigel as we like to call it, we're able to free our hands, our eyes, and our ears, and allow us to do our normal day-to-day -day activities free, but still do and receive a lot of the functionality and technology that we'd like in our normal day-to-day -day life. So as you can see with, with Nigel right here, this open one here shows you 
uh, the battery compartment and a lot of the motion sensors that we have in this device. There's an 8 megapixel camera in the front, which allows you to take pictures simply by activating Nigel and asking him to take a picture for you. I'll show you for an example here. Listen up, Nigel. Take a picture. You're going to notice, you're going to see the camera pull up, easily takes a picture for you. So besides that, it also has a GPS built into it. The GPS will allow you to do, say I'm riding a bike, it can measure how fast I'm going, or how long I've been traveling, or how many calories I've burned. It gives us a lot of flexibility. So Project N, there's a lot of uh, functionality with this, but like I said, the best thing about it is it frees your eyes, ears, and hands, so that we keep doing normal day to day. Hi, it's Van. We're over here at the Sony booth at the Speed Stage, where we're showing off some of the fastest, most innovative cameras that Sony has to offer. The brand new Alpha 99 Mark II, the Alpha 6500, and the RX100 Mark V. We've got artisans over here, we've got performers, and what we're doing is we're showing them high frame rate demonstration, as well as high speed continuous shooting. And then we're talking also about 4D focus. That is exactly what we're showing here.